Hello and welcome to a Source Gaming Discussion. I'm your host Nantendrix and joining me today is Colin. Hi, by the way, if you follow my Twitter, don't worry, I got Apple Fritters. I finally found them. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, discussion over. We're done. <laughs> Thank you for... <laughs> no, also, also brain freeze, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get for the Apple Fritters. <laughs> joining me as well is Triss. Hey, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and Cody. <laughs> Hello. So, we are all come together because Nintendo Shadow dropped a Direct, <laughs> finally. I guess a Direct Mini, technically, so I'm still sure there are people out there who are going to live up the meme that we still haven't had a Direct in X amount of days. It's been a roller coaster of emotions, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. Especially when, um, when Jeff Grubb, CEO of Grubhub, um, that's not his actual <laughs> job title, uh... He was he was saying like oh yeah we're getting a direct on the 26th and it's just like it's still coming it's still coming and then even yesterday he's like it's still coming yeah, and then it's gonna die it was hill. a mini <laughs> it was a mini it's like oh my god well he he was right he yeah, was, yeah. was. right yeah he was he was right I mean I think the the one that sort of the funny one that we had was um. Chris Scullion, who's a long-time games journalist in the UK and Scotland, uh, who used to write for Official Nintendo Magazine and various others under Future, um, he he said like 20 minutes before the Direct, there's meant to be a, a game shadow dropping today that's quite big. Uh, I wonder if they're still going to shadow drop it with this Direct or if there's just going to be a shadow drop Direct. And we were arguing in the Discord, people being like, oh, they never do Directs at 2pm on a GMT time, it's always in the afternoon in America, it's always this. And I'm sitting there being like, no, that's not true. That's They've done other directs and stuff at this time, and the last, like, two have been at 2pm, and they're like, no, no, no. And then, boom, <laughs> here it is. <laughs> the, mini, the mini directs, this, it's it's always been general directs are, like, 5pm. Uh, Eastern. Mid, yeah, Eastern US yeah, time. Yeah, Eastern. I'm going by me time. Yeah. Um, Gen like like game focused directs have always been super early in the morning whether that be your pokemon or your animal crossing like always mm -hmm. like nine in the morning and then uh your your direct minis have always been like 10 11 a.m in the morning mm. they've they've always been in the morning yeah. The only really the only outlier is the general directs and yeah it's like, really strange. <laughs> the E3 ones which are like you know 11 yeah, it's yeah. yeah, the E3 ones always have a specific time because of E3. There's like some old tweet of mine where I said like I kind of hope Nintendo brings back the mini directs. Mm -hmm. And this is like exactly the reason why because um let's 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 get the elephant let's like let's address that real quick cuz the the very first frame of this direct is like hey, did you guys know there's a pandemic going on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It seems yeah. Like it seems like some of you guys kind of totally forgot about it. <laughs> so just a heads up, there's a reason why, you know, everyone's been quiet and it's not just been Nintendo, it's basically everyone. Mm -hmm. Um and and this in this direct mini, it is it is uh, like I, I'm I'm pretty sure this is the easiest assumption on the planet. Uh there is no way this wasn't a full direct at some point. Oh yeah, with with an yeah. extra ten minutes of Ninten big Nintendo announcements, and then they chopped all those out, and then just kind of pushed this out because this is mostly third party stuff with um, some updates to big Nintendo games that have been previously released. But no, like big and, brand new Nintendo announcements. Yeah, there's no like Breath of the Wild two. There's no like Mario two. Um, Mario 2. Oh, Mario 2. <laughs> Mario 2. And they're the voice. iconic sequel. <laughs> there's no, there's no Metroid 9. You know, it's like, it's just, right. like, it's just like it's smaller Nintendo releases. It's basically trying to get, go. Hey, by the way, I know you guys don't usually play anything other than first party games, but get this, we have like a bunch there's of not first party stuff. games N coming Nintendo out. Nintendo Switch has games. Yeah. yeah, it does. <laughs> It's almost like that thing I've been saying for two months straight. Before we even get into the actual, like, content of the direct itself, I will also take a moment to say that I think this really was the best way for them to handle it. 
uh, yeah. given this, the status mm-hmm. of everything right now, probably not easy to do the to put the amount of production they get normally in with uh, people standing in front of the screens talking about games, and then the big hyped up announcements. Where right now, it's probably not in a lot of companies' best interest to like push marketing to a degree where people think they're trying to capitalize off of a big bad situation. Yeah, it totally yeah. is. So, it's it's yeah. a it's a situation where I mean, like there hasn't been like an inside Xbox in a few months. There hasn't been a yeah. state of play in a few months. Um, yeah. GDC's been binned, E3's been binned. We don't want to turn this in, you know, we don't want to get, like, shadow banned by, um, YouTube again for talking about this serious event that's real, like, happening. That's why we're trying not to people. name it. <laughs> yeah. uh, but, um, you know, you know, the Heineken virus. But, like, people do gotta realize, like, hey, like, pretty much every industry, every business is at a standstill here. And if anything, honestly, it's impressive Nintendo even put out anything. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, they could have just said nothing, and like, because let's be real, like it's Nintendo. They were able to go to E3 with Breath of the Wild, and still everyone was like, "Wow, they did really good this year." So like, (laughs) (laughs) they could have said nothing until like August, and then said like, "Hey guys, Mario Two is out tomorrow," and everyone (laughs) like, "Oh my god, oh my god, the year is saved." True, true. Yeah. I think this has kind of had to be like the last possible time because a lot of the games and announcements are like shadow dropping today. Like yeah, Nintendo, out loves to, Nintendo loves yeah. to do that, but there were so many of them in this this direct. <laughs> that yeah. I feel like it was pushed back to the brink as far as they could, and then they're like, right, we we got to do it. Yeah, yeah. everything like, was either shadow drop today or releasing within the next two months. Yeah, there was right. one exception to that, or two. Ex- uh, no, in fact, one exception to that, which is King's Bounty Two, which I guess we'll talk about when we get down to that. But um, let's just—we're going to go from this chronologically. We have the list from Nintendo of what was announced. So, yeah. starting with the first one, the the one game everyone knew from Nintendo oh, was yes. expecting Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, which looks amazing <laughs> oh it looks incredible like i'm looks wondering really is monolith soft the, the the ones doing this or is there an outside studio doing this i, I wasn't think quite sure i think it's still monolith yeah, i mean they're sure up to like that. 250 employees now so mm-hmm. they're, they're a big studio now i was just generally curious because i was wondering like how much of this is going to be the original game with a new coat of paint and how mm-hmm. much of this is going to be like is this built from the ground up sort of thing mm. in some areas because there are some cutscenes in this game where um like the sort of mouth animations and stuff like that looked very Wii era <laughs> yeah i mean but- i'll say this much it's so far it is uh the best looking game that monolith has produced in a long oh, yeah. time oh yeah oh yeah still <laughs> doesn't look amazing but <laughs> like props to them for at least getting rid of the um the stupid sharpening filter that Xenoblade <laughs> 2 had? Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. This like game that. looks much better than Xenoblade 2 and is a massive glow up compared to the original. Oh, yeah. I mean, people mm-hmm. are putting out screenshots are comparing Melia's face from the original and then the new one, and that's like the <laughs> best sort of yeah. show of how much. Because <laughs> yeah. we, we got a glimpse of Shulk through Smash and a glimpse of Shulk and Fiora in Xenoblade 2. They did and not look like... good in 2, though. They did not look good in 2, though. <laughs> <laughs> Fiora looks like she used too much conditioner. (laughs) (laughs) I feel like their look in this one is like a a mixture of the original style and two sort of graphical style. Mm -hmm. But like it looks better, which is good because I feel like the Xenoblade games have just been selling better with each installment. And I want this one to do better than Xenoblade Chronicles 2 because it's like objectively the better game. (laughs) So (laughs) I, 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 I want this to be like a big success for them. And it's looking fantastic. Uh, it's everything's there. Ryan is back. It's, it's he looks glorious, and <laughs> we're getting redone music in some in some cases, and getting they say a new some, epilogue. But it's yeah. all <laughs> ninety plus. There's ninety two tracks in the game. <laughs> <laughs> And then we're also getting um, a new epilogue story, which will add in the cut shoulder content. So people noticed that in, when they first announced it and were wondering how they would somehow weave that into the story, mm-hmm. if they would, or if they'd just make it a very random side area that kind so, of gets thrown in. <laughs> so from what, I've like heard, 
what's interesting with that is originally the shoulder was going to be where the players are first introduced to Melia. Like, like it was, there was supposed to be a, a, an extra part in the middle of the story where you meet mm -hmm. one of the party members there instead of when you actually do in the final game. But I like mm -hmm. the fact that instead of rewriting the story, they're doing it as as an epilogue. Um, yeah. Which definitely looks really neat, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, it looks really yeah. nice. It had like the trailer's got like huge spoilers. <laughs> right it really does. It really it's does. An epilogue story, but I like their I like their special outfits they've got on for this, mm -hmm. and I'm guessing it's gonna try and. So this is what I'm interested. In. I'm assuming it's gonna make a connection between it and Xenoblade Chronicles Two and the stuff that Two set up. I mean, it that's is called Future Connected or something like yeah. that. Like, like I would assume yeah. that's, that's a little it, on the nose. But, but it, in which case, I'm curious why there's so much focus on Shulk and Melia instead of Shulk and Fiora, considering Fiora is like it's Shulk and Fiora who go to Xenoblade well, Two I think Land. The uh, the implication the trailer seems to give is there uh, there there's something of interest to explore on the shoulder surrounding I think Melia's people, and okay. Shulk volunteers oh. to go with her. I mm -hmm. think that's what the, I think. I think that's what it is. That, that that's that's the sense I got from it, which is why it's just the two of them. And then between the poster that's in the the UK special edition, but also the glimpses we got in the in the actual trailer, there's new party members in there as well. There's two Nopon that are like yeah, I ready to actual, fight. <laughs> are they ready to fight? Are they actual like fighting party members or are they? They, just... they look like actual f uh, fighting party members. They're carrying weapons, just like Ricky. That, just, just that's like pretty Ricky. interesting. And adding wow. two new Nopon party members. That's pretty cool. I think they're j exclusively for the epilogue. Meaning, I think in the epilogue you only have Shulk, Melia, and then These maybe two. the two Nopon. Yeah, maybe others. I don't know. Yeah, I, 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 I can't. Would, I, I can't assume... see it being that long. Yeah, no, I would assume the way it runs is that as soon as you beat the main game from the title screen, it unlocks. Yeah. And then you can just click on it and go straight ahead into it. And it's like, mm -hmm. I'd be curious whether or not Shulk and Melia keep all their stats and stuff over, or whether or they'll just be given preset um, items to use. Oh, that's true. That's but true. I, get, I guess we'll find out. I mean, it's cool either way, and I'm always up for Melia getting more screen time considering she's like one of the best characters in that she, game she, she really <laughs> is also as it's interesting not about melia um i i wonder because i because i was wondering since they announced this um if they were like redubbing the game or getting like an, any nope. of the voice cast back <laughs> interestingly enough at least in, in in the u.s or in the english trailer i don't know if this goes for other ones um they talk over like like the, the the person narrating the direct talks over the one time Melia talks that isn't screaming father and then and and then when he's done talking it goes to Shulk talking and you hear him which makes me feel like they might be replacing Melia's voice actress mm. or they just don't have it in yet which Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Jenna any... Coleman got too expensive at the Doctor Who. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the thing I was gonna say. Is there any reason to replace Melia's voice actor other than I guess expensive? <laughs> yeah, I mean that was that was the only voice acting job she ever did. Melia, <laughs> and then and then she become the star on like several shows. So it might just be hard to get her for it between busyness and expenses. <laughs> Fair so I have enough. no idea. Very it would be it, it would just be awkward if Melia wasn't voiced in the entire epilogue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like if they if they because if, if they were going to reply, considering she's such an important part of it, it would be very strange to not have a. So if they did, they would have to like basically mm -hmm. redub her whole script. <laughs> mm -hmm. if, yeah, if that was exactly. Because it would be too jarring otherwise. But yeah, mm -hmm. no, Xenoblade Chronicles though looks very good. It's coming out in May, very end of May, which is May what, 29th. Um, yeah, which is what a lot of people were saying. What sort of sh shops were listing on their websites and stuff. Yep, it is the so, quote unquote leaked date, but that's okay. That's that's decently yeah, no, close. <laughs> it's yeah, it's their May game. It's the Splatoon, Mario Kart 8, Mario Tennis. Was it one year? I can't remember. They they always have some yeah. sort of game towards the end of May or beginning yeah, of June. It's true. And yep. this year is Xenoblade. Actually, actually, ARMS was the spring Yeah, ARMS, arm, arms You're right, was the it spring was ARMS. Too, you fake fan. <laughs> <laughs> and Mario well, Kart released what? the end of April? You know what's really awkward, though? What? Was, well. was Nintendo like, that's right, May 29th, Xenoblade, 
and then not even a minute later, 2K Games. <laughs> yeah, goes, that's 2K right. Games. <laughs> three games. Two of them are big game collections. Same day. <laughs> <laughs> I was the quite first surprised six by minutes that. of this direct, we had four games announced for the same day. Yeah, <laughs> it's like okay. It's like you know nothing in April, but you know the end. The end of May. It's- Looking Look pretty, pretty beefy now. <laughs> yeah, I, I, uh, this is like the the worst thing someone in my position can say. But thank God we get review codes because that's like <laughs> that's a lot of that's a lot of money. I'm gonna say if we get review codes. Yeah, if we, <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. but uh, it, it, it's, it, I mean, it is a. I, 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 2K wouldn't have known that Nintendo were going to do Xenoblade on that day, but why mm-hmm. would they do all three <laughs> XCOM 2 Borderlands or XCOM 2 pa- XCOM Pack, whatever Borderlands Pack mm-hmm. and Bioshock Pack all yeah. at once? All yeah, all the same thing. Really my, 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 it's just a theory. Game theory is that <laughs> um, they maybe because they've they've been doing ports for a while now like they've been doing la noir and civilization and civilization again right and i think like they probably have crunched the numbers and found out that maybe a lot of people when they buy remasters and ports for the switch they buy them later on okay and not immediately when they're like full price so Mm -hmm. it could just be that they're just like ah screw it and they're pushing them all out at once so that like when they all drop in price, it's all at the same time, and people buy them like on mass. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. I don't know. But the other, the other fortunate thing though is that um, they are selling, uh, at least as far as Borderlands and Bioshock is concerned, because you know they're actual collections. Yeah. Uh, you can buy each game separately on the eShop for presumably a much lower price, which oh, is that's great. Nice. So you can buy, you know, the one good Bioshock game. <laughs> the Bioshock one honestly just surprised me to see. I was not expecting that. <laughs> well, and, uh, the Bioshock well, one and the Borderlands one. Um, well, the Bioshock one more so. Bioshock one got leaked pretty by much the leaked Korean online. ratings yeah. board. Oh, was it? I, the I, 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 I did not know that. Border. Well, same thing with XCOM. Really, the only surprise is Borderlands, and that's because the only tidbit we've had about Borderlands on the Switch was like this one really weird tweet by our favorite man, Randy Pitchford. And he's <laughs> oh, like, like back when the Switch presentation happened, and he's like, yeah, I emailed Nintendo about Borderlands 3, and they said no, so Borderlands never coming to Switch. And because it's Randy <laughs> Pitchford, it's, it's like easy to presume that he's, you know, lying. Because that just seems like a weirdly not Nintendo thing to do. Yeah, I don't know why Nintendo would say We want to no. put our upcoming AAA on your console. Yeah, no thanks. Like, I don't know why they would... <laughs> that doesn't seem like something they would do, but... Yeah. Whatever. It's Borderlands 1, 2, and pre-sequel. Neat, I guess. <laughs> but not 3. Is it not 3? No, no 3, but, not I mean, three. that's no also, three. like, a brand new video game that just okay, came out. Okay, fair enough. So I, I don't can't... know much about... I played the very first Borderlands, and enjoyed it when I was playing it with a few people, like my brother, because he really enjoyed it and was a lot higher level didn't get into it after that i like the bioshock games but i never finished two and i kind of look i don't have any sort of feeling of wanting to play them again xcom however uh I'm yeah xcom 2 <laughs> is a really cool announcement that was the um when they announced civilization 6 like two years ago in that in that uh one direct uh mm-hmm. i thought xcom was gonna be like the next one because that just makes like sense. a lot of sense to just bring over all the big like pc stuff yeah, it's too bad the Switch already has the best XCOM game with uh, Mario, <laughs> Mario and Rabbids. <laughs> <laughs> and Phantom Doctrine. But yeah, <laughs> like... Um, but the 2K game stuff is, is neat. Like, it's, it's you know, they're ports, but it's, it's nice to have a... Uh, to continue fleshing out that back catalog of games that people, you know, generally like on, on this little console... I, and mm-hmm. I, you know, I guess it's better than nothing. Um, I cannot wait <laughs> yeah. to buy and play Bioshock Two again, specifically Minerva's Den. That's I, I've never played a Bioshock game, but I'm considering picking up uh, Bioshock Two, the remaster. Now that buy, it's buy been announced, the, <laughs> buy the collection and refund Infinite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Or just play That's Infinite bad. anyway and be like, why did this review so well? 
<laughs> Infinite is one of those games where like I loved it when I played it, and then I look back on it and I'm like, wait, why did I like this so much? <laughs> it's, it's a game where the first uh, 90 minutes to like two hours are just like perfect. They're like Half-Life 2 levels of like, mm, goddamn, like they know how to make a good video game. But then you start fighting a ghost mom, and you're like, something's up. <laughs> oh, I hate something's that boss. Not, that boss is something's terrible. not right here. <laughs> What happened? Why am I not having fun anymore? <laughs> I'll keep that in uh, mind. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's uh, it can be it, it can be quite um, bizarre that game towards the second half of it, and then it kind of picks up for the end, but the end also has its issues. But uh, we won't spoil anything like that. So, yeah, but th th those two K games throwing their full support on, I suppose. <laughs> They've Which been one of the better uh, publishers. Yeah. Well, these coaches. are these are like their. These, LA these are like their was big very early games. on. Yeah, I mean, LA, that's right. I always think of that as Rockstar, though. Oh, I suppose that's the same as that's two K mm -hmm. as the publisher, isn't it? Never mind. Yeah. I, I never think of two K for LA Noir. I always think of Rockstar, so that was why. I yeah, they did LA Noir, and then like Civ Six, which was amazing because it was also like the first mainline Civ game on a console since yeah. the second one mm -hmm. on like the PS One. So yeah, it was. Well, there were, oh yeah, mainline civ. I was about to say civilization revolution, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, moving on, we have uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance Three: The Black Order, which was just DLC for Fantastic Four. Which I mean, I, I don't think the game's that great, so I wasn't particularly excited this is, about this. this. Yeah. Is a spazzy I'm, I, I'm this actually yeah. quite surprised that they, that they did more. I I thought that was done. Yeah. <laughs> no, I I think that I think they'd always announce three with the last one being a Fantastic Four one, and this is okay. just the trailer for the final one. I mean, it's nice. It's always fun seeing Doctor Doom and uh, making jokes about Mister Fantastic being an arms thing, which was very <laughs> well timed. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> But yeah, that's uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance's last DLC is on its way. Following from that, we got a new, a new IP from Capcom called Shin Sekai Into the Depths, which actually came out cool. on Apple Arcade. Apple Arcade, already. yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, and it's one of the Weird. better games on Apple Arcade, apparently. So now it's, it's getting really Switch funny because I was when I was watching the gameplay of it, I was like, I was like, okay, this isn't a port. This is like a brand new video game. But it looks like it was ported from something. <laughs> and to learn that it was ported from mobile is, like, very surprising. Cause yeah. I, yeah. I, I was yeah. like, really? This was not ported from, like, a much more powerful console? Because <laughs> like, this, this this looks good, honestly. There's a lot of yeah, really good Yeah, it looks yeah. quite fun. I was That's trying true. to figure out whether or not it's a Metroidvania or a Mega Man-style game. Because at first I was thinking it was, like, an underwater Metroidvania. Until they mentioned there's, like, a time trials mode and stuff. And then I started thinking, oh, maybe it's actually like more of a level-based Mega Man style platforming game, just well, I underwater. The, I think they said the time trial was specifically th like putting you in a maze. Okay. I don't even think that's. The, I don't think the time trial is to run to the main game. No, it looks I, I just, fine, I just but I don't know if I'm like. Side game. I don't know if I'm like leaping to get it. You know. I'm interested, but I, cool yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm not drop, sold though. on it. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's like 20 like, bucks, I, like, alright, yeah. Yeah, like, I'm interested in quirky little platformers like that, um, so whether mm -hmm. I pick it up, it's just, I mean, I'm in, like, a, I've got so many games, especially with La Mulana just coming out, that I don't know if I have time yeah. at the moment for Shin Sekai, <laughs> but, um... Everything that's... shadow being shadow dropped today is like in I'm danger territory. Yeah, because yeah. like, <laughs> jumping ahead a bit, like, hey guys, Panzer Dragoon remake, and I'm just like, oh god, you know. Like... Yeah, which uh, I mean, we'll talk. We could talk about that now very quickly. Um, I, I was I was somewhat interested in Panzer Dragoon, but from the first impressions I've been seeing from people, it's the remake's a bit soulless, which isn't a good oh, sign. <laughs> it looks sad. better now. Like they like the uh, they they updated it like at least graphically a bit from early impressions. Oh no, but I mean people have actually played it. Yeah, no, I'm saying know. it's uh, yeah. There was okay. that one guy who was like, "This is the worst." But um, oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know. It could just be that like people are like super duper nostalgic for the original, and just like any any sort of like change in like the nuance of how it controls or anything is just like throwing them off. But I'm not, I'm not totally sure. It's, I mean, I've, I guess it's just. I've weird never played the original. It. Yeah, it is a bit yeah. weird to, for it to drop because 
I thought this was something a lot more people were excited about, and they'd make, say he would make a bigger deal out of it. So to yeah, just no, have it's it just, here, it's got shadow suddenly. drop and limited runs doing a physical of it, like cool. yeah, <laughs> it's, it, it is a bit bizarre. Yeah. I mean, maybe I'll try it. I do like like games like Sin and Punishment, those sort of three D perspective run and gun games on rails run and gun games but I, and i've never played the original so i have nothing to compare it to but uh whatever i suppose it's out <laughs> i'll try it eventually so working our way back animal crossing was next getting this easter update cool mm -hmm. animal crossing still really fun good to have and then we get a, a new indie i think it was an indie title good job which yeah. looks really yeah. fun. <laughs> it actually looks really fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the the part that sold me was when he flung the projector through multiple walls to get it exactly. to its destination. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost wondering though, is do you get more money from destruction or do you lose money from destruction? Like I feel like it's a uh, you destroy more things, it takes it off of your bill. Because otherwise, I see mm -hmm. no reason why I wouldn't destroy literally everything to get to the goal. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but I it, like it looks how, good. Uh, I, li I like Nintendo kind of um, branching out and doing really kind of weird stuff for their. Uh... I think like I I've seen some people kind of bring it up sometimes in discussion about how um, you know Nintendo like starting with the Wii would just put out like random just like WiiWare releases mm -hmm. that were just kind of like so so not what you'd expect from them and like mm -hmm. so kind of unique and original. And then of course like the 3DS and stuff like. Um, Dylan's rolling western and like the the Wii U had some stuff but I kind of like I kind of like how uh they they are kind of continuing that tradition on Switch but with stuff that's like so out there like it does it doesn't look it's not just like oh yeah it's it's Poke Park lol you know <laughs> like, oh yeah it's another Mario versus Donkey Kong game no one asked for it's like these like wholly original um local multiplayer like just just neat kind of cool stuff i like it i think it's neat yeah i did not realize until you said that that it was um a nintendo game oh shit it is it's a nintendo <laughs> it is original. a nintendo game yeah, yeah it's it a nintendo yeah. i didn't i just I, I i just kind of thought that it was like one of those really neat little indie games that uh, that's been coming out like i was like i was thinking of that moving out one that was announced during the indie direct yeah I didn't know. Yeah, oh they, wow! Okay, all right. Good job. The, the stretchers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the stretchers. Yeah, the stretchers. Yeah. So, which Just I never such finished. Off the, like <laughs> random stuff, but fun looking stuff. Yeah, yeah. Clearly, they've, clearly they've been trying to have a lot of fun with a lot of like kind of one-off little games. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, they they did it back see. in the DSI way, although they never actually like released half of them in uh, <laughs> yeah, really. in the UK. Um, apparently, the studio who made this made a Katamari game for iPhone and Android. <laughs> oh, I think <laughs> And I also made a Tamagotchi that. game and a Galaga game. Oh, wow. Yeah. They made a lot of... They made mostly mobile games and then a game called Stormbound, which was on PC. That's, that's cool. All right. Uh, um, I was I was interested in this game. Me and my housemates were having a good laugh about it um, <laughs> while we were watching the thing. Um, now I will need to go check it out. It looks fun. Yeah. It, look, it looks fun. <laughs> yeah. Some... Next one down, Catherine Fullbody. Uh, this one was uh, also rumored, leaked yeah. a while back. Long time um, ago, I yeah. Kind of expected it. It does prove that the Persona engine runs on the Switch, so there is like actually no reason why Persona Five <laughs> shouldn't be on the Switch, other than well, the fact that Atlas well, just actually, don't want to upload it. I mean, on there. at this point, well, with, with if Catherine Fullbody sells a, a quote unquote well on Switch and performs well and reviews well on Switch. And Persona 5 Scramble gets localized. Maybe we'll eventually see vanilla Persona 5 or Royal on Switch. But I think this is one of the, the sort of keys to, to get that. To correct you, Nan Nanten, Persona 5 technically was running on the Catherine <laughs> okay sorry but, but what makes this extra interesting is that it is the full body release and not the original because for some reason people like really thought that full body was just a full-blown sony exclusive uh because it was made for uh vita and ps4 while mm. at the same time xbox got zip and pc got a port of the original hmm. which is yeah. That's bizarre, true. but 
yeah, we're getting full body, like the new version. And uh, so, so I guess that answers that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The uh, but yeah no that's uh, that's interesting. I mean I I like Catherine uh, as a game. I think it's pretty pretty neat. I am not going to get full body because I've got the original. Um, but yeah, it's cool to see it's it's happening. Uh, it's cool yeah. to see that it's coming. I, I never got to try that either, so maybe I'll get that yeah. too. <laughs> it's really good, and assu- and assumingly since this was like developed with the Vita in mind, it should run pretty totally well. Fine yeah, too. really well. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. probably. Uh, next down on the list is Ring Fit Adventure. It's getting rhythm mode, so I guess it's time to get <laughs> fit again, especially with all this self isolation going on. It, it, been, it, it honestly looks really fun. It does. Uh, it does. Were... I, I've been meaning to get back into Ring Fit Adventure because uh, I fell off of it, which is really bad. Because mm-hmm. I was meant they to be, released an like, update for it, but there's still no there. new copies to buy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, it, it isn't high enough to buy it. Now. Yeah, <laughs> it's a good game to play in isolation to get exercise in. <laughs> really, it's a yeah. Hot button. It's a hot button item. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna be trying that out uh, tomorrow, probably. Get start getting using rhythm exercises to get fit that way. It looks, it looks a lot of fun. <laughs> it looks good. Next on the list was King's Bounty Two, which I'm assuming is the sequel to a PC TRPG, because I'd never heard of it before. Well, I the King's Bounty 2 is a game that's been out on PC uh, okay. <laughs> for a while. I mean, uh, well, no, that's that's actually a lie. It's it's just it's it's been announced for PC for a while, but it's it they're just announcing that it's also coming, coming to Switch. To Switch. Um, mm-hmm. I as as the resident PC gamer of the bunch, this one's over my head. But like, <laughs> I, I think it's neat. I, I mean, I I just like anything being ported to the Switch, but it's like I I, I do, I I do like that um the the Switch is becoming like quickly home to all of these like, uh, almost PC only franchises, and uh, it looks cool, mm-hmm. looks good, yeah, 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 yeah. looks fun, yeah. <laughs> This is but like ne- this directs Empire of Sin. It's just like, oh, so yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, right. Right. okay, yeah, yeah. All right. there you go. Cool. Yeah, that's that. John that's Romero, sure, you know. <laughs> uh, so next is Super Smash Brothers. Now, uh, Cody, Tris, and I have already done a full discussion on that. <laughs> Arms character is coming. I don't know if you've got any thoughts that you want to put in, Colin. Uh, uh, it. People need to stop acting like Arms was a bomb that no one liked. <laughs> Arms wasn't a bomb; it was a bop. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, because also, see, okay. So here's the thing. Here's the thing that really gets my goat, right? So, so they announce like, like Arms character coming to Smash. That's like that's the whole announcement, right? Like it's just yeah, yeah. a character from this video game is gonna be in Smash. Who is it? But um, they and then interestingly enough, after the direct, they said like, oh, by the way, we'll be announcing and releasing the character in June, mm-hmm. which yeah. is like. Okay. Weird. They specified it after the fact, and then they also are like, "Oh yeah, by the way, there's just like a free trial of Arms that's like you know happening." Yeah. So well, I'm like in full conspiracy theory mode. This is gonna be uh, Arms too. <laughs> yeah. Like, what is this? What are they doing with this three year old game? Like, what? What mm-hmm. are they? Uh, what's yeah. the plan here? Because I'm down well, for it. I. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, no. Well, I was gonna say to, just to add to that, a few days ago. They yeah, also they announced tournament. the arms online. Well, yeah. I don't think it's happened yet. It's coming up in April. Yeah, yeah. It, it's announced... happening like in like a week or two. Yeah. Yeah, a new Nintendo run online tournament because we can't do offline for arms of all games, which I just assumed was chalked up to them sort of goodwill. Everyone's inside. Wait, let's do an right. online tournament. Yeah, yeah that's what I thought involved. too. But potentially, it's just bringing interest back into arms uh, again mm-hmm. after three years. And I mean, hey, that can't they, they confirm that graphic novel is still on its way. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's still coming. It's it's. I mean, I'll, I'll say this much for anyone who's watching this and hasn't watched the other video uh, where these guys talk about arms and not me, and that is like, people really like arms. Not a lot of people like the game isn't a Splatoon level banger, but like it's a really good game, and yeah, uh, like I'm pretty down. innovative. Yeah, I'm yeah. down I'm to excited. see more of it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I'm, I'm 
Sure. It's good. It's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so next on the uh, list was Bravely Default 2, and I'll be honest, I kind of zoned out on here, not because it looks bad or anything, but I haven't played either of... It's the longest part of the Direct. Yeah, it's the longest part of the Direct. It's the middle section they always tend to have. Huge. And I haven't played either of the other Bravely Default games. So I just, I, I was, it was also like, you know, this is the middle of the day. I was like working and watching this at the same time. So I just zoop, completely zoned <laughs> out. So I don't yeah. know what was talked about or announced. Um, I, so I'm leaving this up to you three. <laughs> I, uh, I have uh, basically no, like, <laughs> I have no nothing opinion. to say <laughs> outside of there being a demo, which I guess... That's I cool. feel like they I'll have the... more to say about the demo than I do about its presence in the yeah. direct. So yes, watch yeah. the next Good Morning Source. Game. <laughs> <laughs> Once we've all played the demo, yeah. yeah. In hindsight, the demo should have been. We should have seen it coming because they uh, they did the same thing for Octopath Traveler. They did a demo of that game, which is a pretty yeah. good demo, and it's the same oh, developers. Totally. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it's definitely mm. neat to see. Um, yeah. I, it, it's not particularly my thing because I, I never really played the series, but I know a lot of people that have, and they're like really, really excited for it. And the the whole thing of like uh, changing your, I guess your character's class, or I think they called it jobs, um, yeah, jobs. Lo lo looks pretty interesting actually for like uh, an, an RPG where your like characters like really like their their stat grows and like really uh, technical aspects that really change. It, it sounds interesting for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I also have some friends who really like the games, and I've been, <laughs> one of my friends has been trying to get me to play them since the <laughs> ones on the 3DS, so I think I'm, I might end up picking this one up just to finally try the series, but uh, it seems like this this game really continues on from the last Bravely Default, less so than the Bravely Second game did, I guess, because it's mm -hmm. yeah. Bravely Default 2 instead of Bravely Bravely anything I, I'm else bravely second <laughs> yeah is like final fantasy x2 yeah, it's so sort of <laughs> weird how they did that but that <laughs> i i thought that's i think it's going to be interesting to see um how this connects back to bravely defaults if it's if that's the case because they're it's it's different in the title and everything i mm -hmm. wonder if um it's going to include a lot of um content from bravely default one but up like uh in a better quality in better quality graphics and in a newer kind of setting i don't know I'm not sure i it'll be interesting to see <laughs> what kinds of things it'll include from uh mm -hmm. the first, last two games <laughs> you know you know everyone always gives nintendo shit saying like oh they're always making sequels to mario and zelda <laughs> and splatoon i guess um when are they gonna gonna bring back an old like Nintendo <laughs> classic, just something that hasn't had a oh, sequel in forever, I, I've like an F Zero or an Knock Earthbound. Rider. That's right. There's a new Clubhouse <laughs> game. <for> the Nintendo <laughs> Straight. <laughs> best, best thing in this direct. Yeah. Fuck Smash. <laughs> Go away, Xenoblade. When this Clubhouse started, games. I said why, and then. Uh, it got to Wii Bowling, and I went, all right. You're right, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, my, hey. my favorite tabletop game, bowling and fishing. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, if, if we were doing a live react, if we had done a live reaction to this, like, my hype would have gone through the roof. I love <laughs> 42 all-time classics on the DS, which is what it was called over here, Clubhouse Games. I'm mm -hmm. guessing they're not calling it 51 all-time classics instead. So, yeah, there's nine more games this time. But um, I I, know, I really enjoyed this game. And <laughs> to see it like come a... back, of all things, like... Yeah. And I, I was saying this off to camera. I, like, I feel like this is made by the people who did Wii Sports and stuff. Because it definitely yeah, has the I was same gonna sort say, of like, this, aesthetic this, like, style the, the, to it. The more it went mm -hmm. on, the more I was getting, like, Wii Play vibes. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, and, like, true. honestly, like, yeah. I'm That's up a for good it. Vibe yeah, yeah. yeah. But hey, the, I mean, I, I'm i so excited about this game. Yeah, I'm really excited <laughs> More than it anything too. else that they had. It looks fun. I'm ready, I, this... I'm ready to learn how to play um, it's uh, such a good game to have on Mahjong Switch, really. And ha yeah, they I'm ready to learn Mahjong and have a food to Switch. <laughs> they should have put this. That would have been so great. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, this oh yeah. so much better. <laughs> this has o- the online functionality is honestly really cool for two, so you can just play these mm-hmm. games with yeah. Yeah. people wherever. Me and my friends don't have to meet up to play poker anymore. We can just do it <laughs> online. <laughs> also, this is like this is like totally at the same time like I, I think the reason why they did make it look so much like we play is to get like the people who are uh, maybe a little older and, and yeah. want to buy like a Switch Lite or something. Mm-hmm. And they want something right. that's not, you know, Zelda. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this was a Touch Generations game. This was yeah. like one of the yeah. peak Touch Generations games. So it getting a sequel is pretty nifty in my opinion. Mm-hmm. And like, I don't know, I just, I really enjoy this. Nintendo of America, it's also like, I think it's his budget. I can only find it on Nintendo of America, but it's $40. Yeah, it is. Which yeah. is that cheaper than normal for you guys? I guess so. <laughs> yeah, that's cheaper. Yeah, yeah that's definitely yeah. cheaper. So, and it's only two gigabytes in size if you wanted the download version. <laughs> so, <laughs> but this is something, <laughs> nice. this is something that I'm like super into. And like uh, me and my, I, I know my friends are all into it. So we'll probably just like be playing Mahjong and Shogi and Checkers yeah, right? and Connect Four online. And they had like Uno. They called it something else, but it was 100% Uno. <laughs> so. <Jeez. laughs> It's got everything we'd ever want. It's perfect. <laughs> nice. And then we got a big fat think emoji. <laughs> Jala came back after yeah. disappearing for like a year and a half. Yeah. And now yep. it's free to play. Yeah. <laughs> and I still and I still don't get it. Which was said in like a random understand. offhanded little comment as it was. Yeah, leaving, it was way. right at the end. Yeah. This free to play title yeah. will be coming it's in. Coming May. out on May 29th. Also, oh, not May 29th. Just like just later. And they're like, oh yeah, Late it. free. Yeah. I mean, I think it looks neat, nifty. It's pretty much Splatoon if you're a ninja, and the focus is fighting each other instead of. Um... Really bold to make a Splatoon yeah. knockoff on the console <laughs> <You're> right <laughs> <laughs> no obviously th- this is the this is the kind of game that all the splatoon fans that are like oh where's our splatoon 3 splatoon 2 is a dead game they're just gonna <laughs> migrate to this while they complain <laughs> yeah it's gonna, it's gonna be like oh you know splatoon's really good but i wish i could just fight the other opponents instead of covering the land in ink and here you go <laughs> this is yeah, yeah graphically it really reminds me of splatoon 2 but oh it, yeah it, it does have a lot of its own mechanics that are seem kind of interesting oh totally because yeah. yeah. i mean like it, the the important thing to say is that like i think it's like aesthetically a splatoon knockoff but yeah. gameplay yeah. wise not necessarily yeah exactly yeah oh yeah it's way more like it's movement really, focused like yeah. if, if you look at the models of the character to the main female and the main male character there is a, especially the female character with the black art eye line and stuff like that around yeah. it. It's like very, so close. very inklings. Uh, and the, in even style. in the logo, like the, I think one of the letters has like the eyes on it that look like the inkling eyes, <laughs> honestly. <Yeah. laughs> like, so I mean, it's, just, it, look, it looks but, silly. It looks fun. They're advertising it as a battle royale, so it's naturally just going to get people's attention just from those words alone. Yeah. But, sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it it does. It looks fun. It, it does actually weird, look. It does look like a battle field. royale. It's like a four v four. Yeah, like yeah, that's what it looks like. But it's a big open arena game. My my housemate said it looked more like an MMO from the yeah, early two thousands. I think battle royale <laughs> might just be being used as like more of a buzzword in this case. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think it'll appeal but, to a lot of people. Yeah, I, I mean, it looks it looks like a lot of fun, and it's free to play, so I'm willing to yeah, give it a try. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like if, yeah. if it's like a lot of if it's like Splatoon style, but a lot of cool combat action, and you can do a lot of ninja mechanics, like hide yourself, turn yourself into furniture, and then jump out and attack people. <laughs> right. I mean, that's pretty much all I'm going to be doing for. <laughs> it'll, it, it'll be a nice free to play game for the two days before Xenoblade Chronicles and all the two K games. <laughs> yeah. <come out. laughs> Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so, going on, um, we got another s- classic Star Wars title, two which Star Wars. Wars. <laughs> Jedi yeah. Knight, Jedi Academy, wow. and what was it? Was it Pod Racing the other one? Yeah, Look, Pod Racer yeah. Episode One, Pod Racer, which, it, which by ooh. the way, is like the infinitely more interesting of the two. Though, <laughs> though Jedi Academy is a classic. Um, it's it's. I just want Dark Forces on a new console. Is that too much to ask? I mean, it might happen. It's it's uh, because um, there was a rumor ages ago um, that Nintendo had approached, I guess Disney, to get a bunch of Star Wars games on the Switch, 
And then, of course, we obviously got the one from back in September mm -hmm. that just sort yeah. of came out of nowhere. And now we're getting two more. So maybe this is the thing. Maybe Nintendo's just going to get all these really random classic Star Wars games. We keep getting <laughs> on the e to Dark Forces, but we haven't gotten the actual Dark Forces game yet. <laughs> and they really... I just want something I can play Dark Forces 1 and 2 on that isn't, like jank you know yeah. <laughs> like, yeah please those games are so good but episode one racer that's gonna be uh that's gonna be like 10 out of 10 stuff just like why are these 20 bucks why are these 20 dollars <laughs> yeah uh so next after star wars was panzer dragoon which we already talked about then there was the sizzle reel which um yep. i don't remember what was on there colin if you could go i ahead am and take i that. am gonna put it on uh two times speed and just kind of we got trials of mana looks you know whatever there's a demo out yeah Go try it fuser oh, <laughs> which is that um that weird like uh, it's harmonics doing basically like sound oh yeah cloud mashups of... the video game yeah I uh, saw that. a game that unironically uses party rock anthem in the year 2020 <laughs> <laughs> thanks thanks harmonics always a favorite uh Bethesda reconfirmed that Elder Scrolls Blades, Blades. is still coming, yep. but in it's still coming spring. Yeah, that's <laughs> cool. I'm down. Uh, Warhammer 40k uh, Mechanicus looks neat. I wish it was Warhammer 40k Space Marine. Hit uh, hit like and leave a comment if you remember Warhammer 40k Space Marine. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good game. Um, oh yeah, and then my favorite the, announcement the, of the, the entire figure. direct because it blew my goddamn mine which is bohemia interactive's vigor with the closed beta <laughs> well okay so let me explain why this is the weirdest thing ever so uh, you have bohemia interactive and they're known for making the arma games and they're just like super duper like pc like shooters like they're like uh, you have like battlefield and that's like i'm a soldier but it's still like arcadey and then you have stuff like red orchestra 2 and rising storm which are like i want ptsd uh, but then you have Arma, which is like, I want to file the paperwork. Like, it, it's like levels of simulation of being a, a soldier at war. Like, you have to play those games with a keyboard and mouse. Mm -hmm. So, so mm -hmm. like, you know, they've always made their games for PC. Uh, Vigor is like a weird third-person survival battle royale simul. Like, it's this weird kind of hybrid between, like, a... Uh, a BR and just like a simul like a survival simulation game and it is Xbox exclusive and when I say Xbox exclusive I do mean Xbox like it's not on PC it's only on the Xbox huh which if you hmm. if you yeah. own an Xbox you'd know that that's really weird <laughs> cuz there's <laughs> like no games that do that especially third party wise yeah so it's especially weird that they just suddenly announced a Switch port not only before PS4, but they still have no plans to make a PC version. Like, like <laughs> what is going on with this game? Um, but it is good. I signed up for the beta. I'm I'm ready to try it out and you know just <laughs> mm -hmm. b b b play it. But uh, <laughs> it's, it's the weirdest announcement so far. But then after that we had Burnout Paradise remastered, which oh, is yeah, which is that's... which is some ten out of ten king shit. Like <laughs> Burnout Paradise is so good. <laughs> I, I I played a yeah, lot Burnout of uh, Burnout really Two good. growing up. Yeah. So I, I have to say uh, that that definitely caught my uh, caught my attention. Take yeah. me down to the Paradise City <laughs> where the grass is green and they are porting this game. The Nintendo Switch and it's gonna be in a remastered. Awesome. Like this, this yeah, it's good. the remastered version. Oh, I cannot wait. Burnout yeah. Paradise is so good. But Burnout's like the only one of those sort of realistic races that I actually get into. Yeah, same. It's mainly about crashing and going really fast. EA's support of the Switch has been garbage, but of the three games that made the most sense for them to port to Switch over the last few years, uh, Paradise, Burnout Paradise was like the second one that makes the most sense. The first being Unravel, and the, the third being A Way Out. Still waiting on A Way Out. But, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, and then they had to remind us that there's another Saints Row port coming out that yeah, looks, Saints, Saints you know, Row 4 just as bad as the last Saints Row port. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Right. Uh, anything else? 
Uh, Legend of Heroes Trails of, Trails of Cold Steel, Steel 3. 3, which has a demo, so go uh, have at it. Go hit Coming up that uh, the shop. Mm-hmm. And then oh, yeah, Mr. Driller the Drillland. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah GameCube that was, remaster. That's really by, cool by because um, it's like the first time it's actually come out of Japan, Mr. Driller Drillland. Mm-hmm. Yeah, really? pretty much. Oh. Yeah, which is pretty neat. And also, a few months ago, they trademarked Mr. Driller again, along with Splatterhouse and Klonoa. Oh. Yeah. So okay. the fact that they did that and now we're getting a Mr. Driller game um, some good signs for Klonoa and Splatterhouse fans out there. I just, yeah. Please, just, just make it a collection for all the games. <laughs> just put the three. This is my Matthew Lubenska impression. Put the 361 on the Switch. Uh, and then we had Minecraft Dungeons. If yep. you wanted Minecraft that isn't Minecraft. Yeah. I yeah, it looks neat. My, yeah, my, my, my Minecraft's like you know major selling, so obviously that's a big deal. And then uh, yeah. that was the end of the sizzle reel, and then they spend the last uh, twenty five years about the Pokemon DLC expansion <laughs> packs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was slightly disappointed this is the way they were going to end it because they usually end it on something bigger. But I suppose Pokemon is obviously really popular. I think I just mm-hmm. wanted something new. But I, um, yeah, I, I mean it yeah. looks neat. I enjoy I enjoyed Pokemon Sword, and I said I would play the DLC when it came out. Mm-hmm. Um, it's cool that it sort of makes you pick which uh, what tower you're gonna face, and you mm-hmm. have to use yeah. a, you have to use Kubfu. So it's kind of I like games when they sort of restrict you because it makes it so you have to, it means it's usually designed pretty fairly yeah. because everyone's in the same situation. Right. It also means you have to think a bit more than just like making yeah. one overpowered character. So exactly. I'm cool about this. Yeah, I, I'm a really big fan of Pokemon and. Uh, mm-hmm. I really I, I follow just about everything Pokemon, and um, <laughs> uh, I think one of the big takeaways from this is also the I mean a lot of the stuff they announced in in this direct was pretty much just a lot of the stuff we've already seen and already heard about. And we've we saw more of um, the Isle of Armor, but it wasn't really anything super significant. I mm-hmm. think one thing that's really significant to at least the competitive scene of Pokemon. Was the uh, the G Max moves for the starters? Yeah, um, those, yeah. I'm waiting for those. <laughs> yeah, the 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 moves ignoring abilities is a pretty big deal. They even showed in the trailer. Um, they showed uh, what is it? Antelion's G Max move hitting a uh, Gastrodon. Gastrodon's like infamous in competitive Pokemon for absorbing all water moves. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. that's that's an interesting one to show off. They, it seems like they're pretty conscious of uh, what they're doing with the um, the competitive additions to this DLC. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if they'll introduce anything else that will affect the uh, competitive scene because of that. Overall. Mm-hmm pretty good yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. And i think it was good. pretty good direct uh, I, I think, think it, it satiated think... the weight that we've been the drought we've been in mm-hmm. for so long yeah. <laughs> and we have yeah. a we have a clearer idea of what's happening up until e3 time which was the natural time to do it because we know they're yeah. gonna do one at, at e3 right. and i think it's nice too looking at this that like there, there wasn't any like big brand new never before seen announcements or reveals and i think that's okay they didn't need to be that kind of stuff can really be saved for it, June. I mean, it yeah. certainly was uh, a little too port heavy in some in it some was respects. I mean, but I mean, with with stuff like third parties, I mean, it's just one of the situations where it's either that or nothing. Yeah, like, yeah, because yeah. like, what what is two K gonna put other than older games on the Switch when well, they have like nothing else coming out right now? It's like you know. And what's and what's even wrong with that? Considering the Switch has like such, it, it's such a great system to port games to, mm-hmm. too. Just yeah, because yeah. Of, of its portable nature, like it's it's just a good system to have those games on. It's understandable. Like I certainly agree with with you know the 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 claims of Switch tax, even if those are a little yeah. I mean, some of them are a little bit much, but. I did see some people like it's 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 funny when I see people being like, oh, why are they you know uh, selling Bioshock Collection for full price when it was free on PS Plus? And it's like I agree, but it, like these are also businesses that have to make money. Like otherwise, it isn't free. <laughs> yeah. It's not free on Xbox. <laughs> like there's really you know, um, but at the same time. I think it is important for a console to have a back catalog, and I think it also is important 
for a game console to just have games even if they plan on releasing nothing new might as well release old stuff um yeah. mm -hmm. and it's it's and as i said i think it's also just important that you know they did this even if there wasn't a lot of like big first party stuff i think it is important to let nintendo fans know hey by the way there are games on this thing that aren't <laughs> nintendo like you should play more yeah. you know yeah i think they've really been pushing that with the switch too more so than a lot of their other consoles, especially the Wii U, because oh yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> oh yeah, it seems like uh, what they've been trying to do is have a, like a big release each month, and a lot of months they've had big releases that aren't from Nintendo; they've been from other other uh, developers and publishers. Yeah, <laughs> I think uh, my yeah. only real um, disappointments have just been like uh, is is stuff I you know I would have wanted updates on that i didn't get updates for like yeah. it, maybe it's like too soon to, like too uh soon to see but i was really hoping we might have uh we would have seen like a date for doom eternal or the outer worlds yeah that that would have been yeah. nice. I, for outer worlds it's probably way too soon because it was only delayed like a month ago a month and a half mm -hmm. ago even yeah. though it was seemingly like basically already done but Doom um, Eternal. But yeah, Doom yeah. Eternal, especially because it just came out and it's it's such a banger. Like yeah. I I really would have liked to see a uh, a date for the Switch yeah, version of that. I'm ready to get that game on the Switch. Mm. <laughs> I'm ready to double dip. I'm ready to double dip. Yeah. All right. Well, I I, I mean I, I think the same, but it, it being a mini direct, I wasn't expecting everything to get updates. I mean I don't like to see Silk Song and stuff like that, but whatever. I suppose we've got time. There's still plenty of time and. Uh, companies can do their own announcements whenever they feel like it. yeah exactly yep. it's not like that we're is... not going to get any games announced from now until <laughs> that is like the outlier so... that people need to remember is that not every game announcement needs to be at a nintendo direct yeah, yeah. exactly and I... all right well oh sorry do you want to say one last oh, thing Cody? i was just yeah just i was just going to say one last thing like even though there weren't a lot of games announced for later in this year they could just as easily announce everything for the rest of the year at E3 because they've yeah. announced everything up to that point pretty much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys for joining me, uh, talking about this. Um, Nintendo Direct, uh, everyone who's listening, uh, let me know what your favorite game announcement was down in the comments below. Um, I hope that you have enjoyed this. If you want to help support us or get your opinion heard amongst the team, suggest stuff for us to talk about, take part in streams, get a private Discord channel, then you can subscribe to our Patreon for even just a dollar will get you some access to stuff. So consider that. It's down in the comments. Uh, no, down in the description, I should say, below. And all of our lovely patrons who have supported us are on screen right now. Uh, always remember to like, comment, subscribe, do all that YouTube jazz to make sure that your, our videos aren't getting lost in your subscription feeds. And then always remember to return to the source. <laughs>